Hey, what's going on guys? I wanna share something with you guys very important today. I wanna to talk about what does the devil care about? I wanna let you know today that the devil doesn't care about how many scriptures you know. He doesn't care about how well you can read or even understand Hebrew. He doesn't care about the years you spent in Bible college, how many degrees and diplomas and certificates you got. He doesn't care about your ministry friends. He don't care about how well you can quote and how well you can do this and that in church and even amongst your Christian friends. He don't care about that stuff. He doesn't care how much you know about the history of Israel and the things Jesus did. There's only one thing he cares about and it's the very thing that he's scared of. The only thing he cares about is the thing that's the biggest challenge to him and is destructive to him, to his influence, and to his works. Let me give you this secret. The only, only thing that the devil cares about and that he's scared about is about you knowing and coming to the knowledge of who you are in Christ Jesus. Who you are as a son or a daughter of God, as a new creation, as the righteousness of God, as one born of the spirit with the seed of God remaining in you and the spirit of God within you, making you a daughter or a son. He cares about you knowing that you've taken God's nature and that your new identity is that you're a son, you're a daughter of God made in his image and likeness made according to God in true righteousness and holiness Ephesians 4 24 that's what the devil's scared of because that's what's gonna bring about you walking confident and boldly you walking knowing that you're led by the Spirit knowing who you are you're gonna walk in authority you're not gonna fall for the lies and the deceptions you're gonna walk in the spirit all those fiery darts that he sends at you you're gonna walk by faith and not by sight so that shield of faith is gonna deflect it's gonna reject and it's gonna make those fiery darts bounce off of you because you know who you are so if you're gonna get anything get understanding of who you are in Christ because that's the only thing the devil cares about listen and I'm telling you from experience because I've been through the roller coaster Christianity I've been through the times reading the scriptures and being confused because of the contradiction there's some old there's some new some old skin but the wine the new wine and I, this this that 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 is just confusion I've been there through the cycle Christianity circle Christianity because I was getting taught religion I was getting taught formulas and principles and old school stuff that's never been based or oriented or founded from our identity in Christ it's never had a new covenant perspective and reality but that's what he's afraid of because I've been there man and it never it never produced fruit in my life it looked good for a moment but then all hell broke loose it looked it looked good for a little bit but then it turned sour and that's not how it's supposed to be it's not how it's supposed to be and the only way is knowing who we are in Christ is knowing who we've been born into born again into sons and daughters of the living God everything that was is no longer and what happened in the garden through the fall of man was reversed and Christ brought us back to our original identity likeness and image as sons and daughters of the living God so we can commune with him be with him and be made like him and transformed and walk in the spirit being led by the spirit the Bible says that sons of God are led by the spirit of God so I want you guys to find out to know and to ask Holy Spirit to reveal to you and teach you who you are your identity because that's the only thing the devil cares about that's the only thing he's scared of because that doesn't breed cycle or roller coaster or circle Christianity it breeds Life, life abundantly, freedom, peace, joy, righteousness, and holiness. That's what that breeds. Authority, power, and just the life of a son of God. The manifestation of the glory of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that's what Jesus modeled for us. Because if we want to find out what it is that a son or a daughter looks like walking on the earth, we just got to look at the example of Jesus. He was the son of God walking on the earth and showed us what it was like to do what the Father did and say what the Father said by being led by the Spirit, by listening to the Spirit, and by walking in righteousness and holiness and in love, because that's God's nature, love. So you wanna know who you are? You've been made, created according to God, in the nature of God, in the nature of love.
and love is so powerful that when you find out, you begin the transformation. And that's what it means to be renewed in your mind, to find out who you've already become. And that, my friends, is what the devil's scared of. Amen? So let's do it together. Let's grow. And let's find out. And let's make the devil mad by us knowing who we are and by communing with the Lord and growing in knowledge and in relationship with him. Amen? Just let it shine through Just let your soul